Welcome back guys, today is National Mai Tai Day, according to some people, so I figured we'd make a part 2 of our orange liqueur comparison videos. This is another episode of Booze Breakdown, and today we're making 4 Mai Tais with 4 orange liqueurs. We did this back in February for National Margarita Day, so we're doing the same concept again, 4 orange liqueurs, 4 Mai Tais, and let's see how they stack up. I know. What can you do? Okay, so let's meet the contestants. We have Triple Sec. It's sweet, it's orangey. After that, it's older brother, Quantro, a little more tart, a little drier. After that, dry curacao, uh, brandy cognac base, and finally the expensive Grand Marnier, which is a cognac with orange uh, added to it. For the base of our Mai Tais, we're going to be using two rums. I have Appleton Estate, Jamaican rum, and Plantation Three Stars. Two fantastic rums. Obviously, use the rums you want. Alright, let's build four Mai Tais. So to start off, we're going to do an ounce of our Jamaican rum, Appleton Estate. I mean, the rums obviously are very important to a Mai Tai, but it honestly comes down to preference. You can use one rum, a good Jamaican rum like uh, Appleton, which is available everywhere, is fantastic. I often do um, my Mai Tais just that way. But if you want to experiment, use different rums, do it. Use what you have. After that, one ounce of Plantation. So as long as you're getting two ounces of rum in there, use whatever rums you want. Okay, since this is an experiment with orange liqueurs, next up is three quarter ounce of orange liqueur. Again, use what you have. We are experimenting today and trying out our four different ones and see how they stack up. So we're starting with the triple sec, probably the cheapest. Well, it is the cheapest of the four. After that, we have Cointreau. Cointreau is kind of like a, a fancy premium triple sec. After that, Dry Curacao. This is the Pierre Ferrand Dry Curacao. It's called Dry Curacao. I actually find it relatively sweet. That's probably just the brandy cognac base that I'm getting. After that, the Grand Marnier, very similar to the Dry Curacao, but obviously a little richer in flavor. It's made with cognac and orange peels and sugar. It's just... Grand Marnier is fantastic on its own, and it makes amazing cocktails, but it is expensive. After that, each each uh, mixing glass is getting a full ounce of lime juice. Would not be a Mai Tai without lime juice. So we're going with the kind of the standard uh, four ingredient Trader Vic recipe. It's kind of the one I use all the time, um, but you can really play with the ratios. Some people like less citrus. I like a full ounce but it's up to you. Next up, we're doing three quarter ounce of Orgeat syrup. So that's an almond flavored syrup. You can buy it. There's great store-bought Orgeats, um, or you can make your own. This is a homemade recipe here. This is the recipe from the Wee Pearl. Um, I love this recipe, so I will link to her video in the description. It's very rich, it's decadent. It's a great Orgeat. And it's sweet enough that I don't, I typically don't add extra simple syrup to my uh, Mai Tais. I find that Orgeat has enough sweetness. So we are filling our glasses with ice. Then I do a double flippy move. And then we're gonna shake these one at a time. I actually did these off screen. I was, I was afraid of um, mixing up the glasses and forgetting which had which liqueur. So we did that all off screen and then I brought them back. We are serving in rocks glasses and we are topping with crushed ice. If you wanna fancy tiki glass that works too but I always serve my ties in rocks glasses the tiki glass tend to be too big okay we're gonna add a straw to each of these all right and for garnish we're gonna do a pretty um, standard Mai Tai garnish we're doing a mint bouquet on each we gave it a good slap to uh, aromatize. Looking good. Looking tropical. And we're gonna do a dehydrated um, orange slice or dehydrated citrus, whatever you got. 
I make a batch of uh, dehydrated oranges, lemons, limes. I had blood oranges this time, so that gives it an interesting color. But it's you know it get, it's got a nice uh, a nice aroma to it, and it just looks really nice in a glass. So there it is. We've got four amazing Mai Tais with different orange liqueurs. So let's get down to tasting. All right. So uh, up first, the triple sec. It's that orange flavor is there. It's sweet. Obviously, it's got a higher sugar content. Not too much complexity. Um, it's, 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 it's not bad. It's good. But, you know, it's not a whole lot there. Uh, let's go to Cointreau now. So, orange flavor, very present, nice and rich. Um, it's more dry and tart, more so than the triple sec. Um, still a very good Mai Tai. I mean, can't, there's nothing wrong with any of these, really. <laughs> okay, the dry Curacao. Oh, and that, that, that's, yeah, I love that. There, more complexity than the first two. Um, nice rich complexity that uh, cognac kind of plays through. <laughs> Damn, that's good. That is a good Mai Tai. That is perfectly balanced. Man. Okay, last up, the Grand Marnier. It's very um, similar tasting to the Dry Curacao. It's very rich, strong cognac flavor in this one. The cognac really shines through. Very rich, deep flavor. Man, that's really good. Like, honestly, all of these, it's, I'm finding it very hard to critique these drinks because all of these are really good Mai Tais. And it kind of just goes to show that, yes, there is going to be a difference in flavor depending on which one you're using, but at the end of the day, these are totally interchangeable and they all work. All right, so let's give them, let's rate them, shall we? Um, in first place, number one, my favorite, got to give it to the Dry Curacao. That was just so well balanced. It's the classic orange liqueur. It just works. In second place, I'm going to give it to the Grand Marnier. Um, it's almost just as good, but a little distracting. For the Grand Marnier is so flavorful. A little distracting, but I mean, again, it's not bad. Um, in third place, I'm going to give it to the Triple Sec. Um, it's sweet, it got an additional sweetness, which is nice. Um, the only reason it really wins over the uh, Cointreau is the Cointreau was a little too tart for my taste. But again, I'm, I'm really struggling to critique these. These, all four of these were amazing. There's nothing wrong with these drinks. <laughs> so at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what uh, orange liqueur you're using, as long as you've got quality rum and a good orgeat, you're gonna make a great Mai Tai. So go ahead and use whichever orange liqueur you want and make yourself an awesome Mai Tai. That's it for today's uh, video, guys. We will see you next time. Cheers, everyone.